Hey guys, good good not great here with another Dota 2 mechanics video. This video is going to be all about damage types. I'll be going over all the different types of damage that spells deal and how they interact with magic resistance, magic immunity, armor, and other buffs. Spell damage is how a large amount of damage in the game is done, and there are hundreds of spells. So having a solid grasp of spell damage types will allow you to make smart item choices and good gameplay decisions to deal with these spells. For those of you who aren't familiar with spell damage types, there are six different types in total. Magical, Physical, Composite, Universal, Pure, and HP Removal. Magical damage is the most common damage type. A vast majority of spells do magical damage, and the damage type itself has relatively easy to understand mechanics. Magical type damage is reduced by a percent based on magic resistance. A 100 damage magical nuke will do 75 damage to a hero with 25% magic resistance. Magic immune units are also not affected by magic damage, and armor has no effect on magic damage as well. The next most common type of damage is physical. Physical spell damage has mechanics similar to auto attacks. Damage is reduced by armor, but completely ignores both magic resistance and magic immunity. However, unlike auto attacks, physical damage spells aren't affected by evasion, and do not trigger on-hit abilities like Return or Counter Helix. Physical spell damage is an extremely powerful damage type, especially in the early to mid-game, when heroes have low armor so they take almost full damage from physical spells. Spells that deal physical damage also have the advantage over magical damage, in that reducing armor is fairly cheap and easy, with items like Medallion. Also, Desolator and AC are fairly common, while it is much harder to reduce magical resistance. The downside to physical damage, however, is that armor is itself fairly easy to obtain, and spells that deal physical damage get less and less effective as the game goes late, and heroes get more and more armor. Composite damage is a hybrid of magical and physical damage. This doesn't mean that half the damage is physical and half the damage is magical. Rather, composite damage has attributes of both physical and magical damage. Composite damage is reduced by magic resistance and armor, and the reductions are combined together, meaning that a spell dealing 100 composite damage to a hero with 25% magic resistance and 25% physical resistance will deal 56.25 damage, not 50. Composite damage does have the advantage of going through magical immunity, but it's basically just an inferior version of physical damage. Universal damage is a special type of magical damage and has the advantage of being able to deal damage through magical immunity. However, it is reduced by magical resistance, just like magical damage, so universal damage can be dealt with. Universal damage is a pretty strong damage type, and there are only a few spells in the game that deal universal damage. Pure damage can also be considered a special type of magical damage. Pure damage ignores magic resistance and armor, meaning that whether you have 90% or 10% magical resistance, a spell that deals 100 pure damage will always do exactly 100 damage. However, pure damage is blocked by magical immunity. When facing pure damage, it is extremely important to be as careful as possible, as many players will underestimate the damage output. They get used to the 25% magical resistance they get for most spells, which is actually quite a lot. Most spells that deal pure damage are also pretty high in terms of actual damage value as well. Heroes with pure damage can often burst you down if you don't respect their damage output. Since magical resistance and armor both have no effect, the best counters to pure damage are magical immunity and raw HP. The last damage type is HP removal, and it is completely different from the other damage types. In fact, it really can't be considered a damage type at all, as HP removal is technically not damage. HP removal simply removes a set value from a unit's HP and completely ignores everything else. It is unaffected by armor, magic resistance, and magical immunity, as well as any abilities that reduce or amplify damage. The fact that HP removal isn't considered damage also means that it will not trigger any spells or items that activate or deactivate on damage, such as salves, clarities, blade mail, etc. The only exception to this rule seems to be Bloodseeker's Rupture. Even though its damage type is listed as HP removal, it triggers blade mail and spike therapist, as well as canceling salves and clarities. A more accurate description of Rupture might be pure damage that goes through magical immunity. Now that I've finished going over through the damage types, there are two special interactions I want to quickly go over. The first is Ethereal or Ghost Form. This is a status caused by Ethereal Blade, Ghost Scepter, and Pugna's Deep Crepify that makes the target immune to physical damage and amplifies magical damage by a certain percentage. 
and also interacts with other damage types in different ways. Ethereal units are immune to both physical and composite spell damage, and they take amplified damage from magical and universal spell damage. Both pure damage and HP removal are unaffected by ethereal form. The second interaction is with anti-magical shells, or Pipe of Insight's Barrier Active and Ember Spirit's Flame Guard. These two abilities both block spell damage, but their interaction with different spell damage types are a bit complex. Both Flame Guard and Barrier will block all magical damage. However, physical, composite, pure, and HP removal damage will all bypass the damage block. Universal damage interaction is a bit more complex. Barrier and Flame Guard will both block all universal damage except for Doom. The barrier buff will immediately be removed upon Doom, and the damage will also go through any barrier buffs placed after Doom. Flame Guard, on the other hand, will remain up after Doom, but will not block any damage from the Doom. Well, that about wraps it up, guys. Hope you learned something useful, and feel free to leave any comments, questions, or suggestions below. If you're interested in more, I suggest heading over to the Dota 2 wiki for a list of all the spells and their damage types. I'll have another mechanics video out in a little while, and hopefully some other interesting Dota 2 videos, so feel free to subscribe or leave requests. And as always, thanks for watching.